hot rods and muscle cars in the world of automobiles this has always been the holy grail now whether you love cars like this or not or you're not an auto freak this really is the stuff that dreams are made of and if you really think deep in the legacy of hot rod muscle cars there's only one name that constantly comes up and that of course is this the galloping pony of the mustang it's been there for years and years and today on this show we're going to go through the car but you know when we get a car onto this show we're not really concerned about the car tech it's not what's inside here it's what's inside there the technology that runs and makes that user experience much better i have to tell you though that i'm really dying to find out how this is most hot rod muscle cars are only about the look and the power and everything else the inside experience of tech is very very poor dismal is the way i would call it so we'll have this on the show i'll take you through all the tech it's got sync inside we'll use that technology to see how good the tech is but even more importantly through the show we're going to go to taiwan computex suganda will join me all the hot technology coming from there so it's a red hot car red hot technology what else can you ask for Time to put on your seat belts and gear up as we take you on the ultimate ride in the latest Ford Mustang. This car has more tech than a room full of computers. And Suganda heads to Taipei for Computex 2018 to get you a glimpse of what is new in the world of computers and gaming. So I've shown you what's on the show here. I've shown you what's happening out there in Taiwan. But let's take a look at all the news that's coming in from the rest of the world. Garmin has upped its popular wearable Vivo Active 3 and has added some beats to it. The Vivo Active 3 Music is here and it has a storage of close to 500 songs on the watch that you can play directly from the watch via Bluetooth headphones. Other features include GPS, heart rate monitor, 7-day battery life and water resistance. The watch is for 299 US dollars. That's around 20,000 rupees. Brace yourself for a ride into the future. Elon Musk's boring company has been selected to develop a high-speed transit between Chicago downtown and O'Hare Airport, which will be 3 to 4 times faster than current transport system. The Chicago Express Loop will carry passengers in battery-powered vehicles running at about 240 kilometers per hour, cutting journey time to 12 minutes. And before we start with the review of this car, Let's move on to the legacy behind the car. Now, this car started off exactly the way it is, a muscle car. It was so muscular at that time that it almost became dangerous to drive and very few were built because people said getting into it can be a death trap. Didn't happen that way. I'm going to get into this one and take you through all the tech. But just before we start with all of that, let's move on to Suganda to find out exactly what's happening out there. So Suganda, your first ever Computex So what are you expecting what do you think is going to be happening there any bets on the best technology and the coolest things that you're going to be having there Rajin one day it's a limousine for you then the next time you're in a Ford Mustang you really have an envious life don't you but today you and everybody watching is going to be really envious of me because I'm here right here in Taiwan for Computex 2018 now this is essentially a computer technology exhibition and I'm expecting a whole range of things when it comes to desktop monitors gaming laptops and maybe a little in terms of VR and AR apps related to gaming because that's the next big thing Well so the expectations are really high and I hope that they're all met at Computex 2018. You know Suganda most people would say you're there out there in Taiwan and we should all be very envious but somehow I feel anybody watching the show will think I got the better end of things. I have this. You have Computex but you know you've been to IFA you've been to the Mobile World Congress. Is Computex any different because this is a rather different event. It is huge but is it different? Well Rajiv you're absolutely right very different events all of these now IFA CES MWC they mostly to do with mobile phones automobiles even home appliances but Computex is very different it's also to do with computer technology a lot of gaming products but the essential difference is also in terms of the brands that showcase their products now IFA MWC they have a lot of global brands but here at Computex it's a lot of asian brands that showcase their products a lot of these uh, products don't even make their way to too many countries so i'll probably get to to see a lot of products that you won't even get to see in India. Okay Suganda I'm going to come back to you right now it's time to get started with me and everybody else joining me 
on the Mustang experience. All right, I'm in and I have to say that the first impression is that this isn't like typical muscle cars. It's not a bare bones thing. Great screen, a lot of stuff that you can do, but it is very few buttons. Now remember, this has the sync system inside uh, with the Ford sync system. And a lot of it has been made so that the user experiences that you don't have to look for buttons, you don't have to look on the touch screen as to what you have to touch. It's very intuitive and should be for a driver that doesn't have to look down for everything. Lot of voice commands. I'll take you through all of that. Let's get started. <laughs> So as you get in the first impression, of course, is the important one. And that is that this, unlike other muscle cars, isn't a bare bone system. It's actually very well put together. You can literally choose any uh, color for your trims, your leather. You could actually even match it to your shoes for that day. They can do that much of customization. The second one is that the music system in this really does a good job. Now, normally this is a hostile environment for music, right? Think about it, the amount of corners, it's a small cramped space, there are seats in between. Not a good area for audio, but this one can pump out some serious bass. But now let's move on to, I think the most important part of the tech that I wanted to show you. And that of course is the sync system. Now, the layout is very simple. I'm going to go to the home area and show you. Divided into four sections. Uh, one, of course, is uh, whatever you're listening to. The second is the phone that's connected. The third is the direction you're going. And the fourth, of course, is the air conditioning system. Touch any one of them and you can control it. There's settings and then there's entertainment. Now, before I show you more about this, Suganda is on standby and getting very, very impatient because she has lots of things to show you. So, Suganda, let's go back to Computex with you. Rajiv, you seemed so excited in that Ford Mustang. I thought that you had forgotten all about me. But here I am in Taipei City for Computex 2018. And I just can't wait to get started and show you all the exciting stuff all the way from Taiwan. Now usually at Computex there are not too many mobile phones but this was my first time here so it had to be something a little different, right? Now what I have with me is the ASUS ROG phone. It is a 6 inch phone with Qualcomm's 845 chipset but what is really cool is the twin view dock, one of its periphery, uh, it actually gives you two 6 inch screens. There's 4000 mAh battery on the phone, another 6000 in the dock here you get a total of 10,000 mAh battery. With the dock, you get a whole lot of additional ports as well. And it gives you the functionality of a dual screen. So you can literally play two games at the same time. So check this one out. If there was ever a phone that ticked all the check boxes when it came to the most desirable specs, this has got to be it. The ASUS ROG phone is a true gamer's machine. It is a sturdy phone with Corning Gorilla Glass on the front and back. There's a 6 inch screen with 1080 by 2160 pixel resolution and a 90 hertz refresh rate which means that the screen refreshes 90 times in a second for a smooth experience. Specs are top notch with Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chipset clocking up to 2.96 GHz, 8 GB RAM and variants of 128 GB and 512 GB storage with a battery of a mammoth 4000 mAh. The side port supports USB Type-C and HDMI and yes, it does support a 3.5 mm jack. Accessories play a critical role in the ROG phone. There's a clamshell accessory which has a second screen and is called the Twin View Dock. On the second screen, you can display a chat related to the main game or even use it to live stream a game online. Then there's a dock that ports out the bag that converts your phone to almost a PC. This mobile dock lets you build a complete desktop around the phone by connecting it to a monitor, keyboard or mouse. No doubt, ASUS has put in some sincere effort in producing this gaming beast. Okay, Suganda, so those were interesting, but now let's do a top three. And I always enjoy doing these top three things you've seen at Computex that you're really, really hoping come to India very soon. Wow, Rajiv, you have really put me in a spot because picking a top three in a huge exhibition like this, not the easiest task. But the one product which will definitely make it to my list is the ZenBook Pro 15. Now, what looks like a regular laptop, 15 inch screen with a 4K display, the actual magic lies over here because this screen 
the keypad actually works as a screen. So there are different modes to it, the screen pad mode, an extension mode. So what is there on the keypad can actually mirror onto the laptop display as well. So very cool features on this one. The ZenBook Pro 15 and 14 are the latest additions to ASUS laptop portfolio. They come with a tiny screen pad in place of a mouse pad. The ZenBook Pro 15 and 14 come with a 15.6 inch 4K UHD and 14 inch FHD display respectively and has an LED backlit display. You can get the Pro 15 in configurations with Intel i5, i7 and i9 and it supports ASUS Pen Stylus. You can get about 16 GB RAM and up to 1 TB SSD. The main highlight is obviously the keypad that works as a touchpad. You can select from the different modes by pressing the F6 key, screen pad mode, extension mode, traditional keypad or just disable it altogether. The screen pad mode gives you shortcuts to different apps such as calculator, music player and more. You also get nifty tools on it when you access PowerPoint or Word. Changing fonts, colors is quicker. While watching YouTube videos, you can easily scroll through the thumbnail view of the contents. With the extension mode, you can drag a window to the bottom of the screen for it to appear on the secondary screen. So that's literally like browsing through two screens together. However, it takes a while to get used to. In our short time with the laptop, we did struggle to get the working right. The Pro 14 too has a similar dual screen. It is out in variants with Intel i5 and i7. In addition, it has got ergo lift hinges that elevate the keyboard for natural typing posture. Now you've all heard of 3D printing, but here at Computex, HP has displayed their 3D camera. And using it, you can actually scan any object. Of course, it has to be of a certain size and use it and see it in its 3D form. So here I have a very cute little dog and I will use the camera to scan this and show you how you can get these really quirky uh, animations. So now you can just imagine what the scope of this can be. Be it with VR app developers, gaming uh, app developers, maybe even graphic designers. They can take this to a whole new level. Developed by HP and supported by Windows 10, the 3D camera is the ultimate computer accessory for any graphic designer or game developer. The camera has a 14.2 megapixel sensor with 4 is to 3 aspect ratio and then there's also an IR camera and a depth sensor. It has a USB 3.0 and USB 2.0 port as well. HP recommends that the system runs Windows 10 Pro or later OS and a CPU that runs on 4th gen Intel i7 at least for maximum performance. A 16 GB RAM and an NVIDIA GPU is also a must for efficiency. This sort of high configuration is usually in high-end gaming machines. Now the camera can be mounted on the top of any monitor and comes with a scanning pad. Any 3D object can be placed in front of the scanner. For instance, we tried to scan this little dog. Now with most cameras, you have to place the object on an axis of some sort that rotates the object. Here you have to rotate it from all sides manually such that it is captured by the camera in depth. At first the geometric pattern is laid out and then the texture and the color is filled in. And that's just how easy it is to scan any object. What's even better is that the file that is scanned is not very heavy in size and takes up less storage capacity. Now a lot of us use smart speakers these days but this here is a smart keyboard that is voice controlled. So literally whatever command you tell it, it actually reacts to it. And I really wish that this thing comes to India. But for that, either this has to understand English or I have to get to learn Chinese. But right now since I have no idea what Chinese and how to speak it, so I will get an expert to show you a demo of how this works. One thing is certain, technology wants to make sure that we don't have to move around our muscles too much yet get our work done smoothly. While talking to Cortana, Siri and Google have become quite common, now it is time to get talking to your keyboard. This time at Computex what caught our attention was this voice enabled keyboard, rather a gaming keyboard. Say a command out aloud and you could change the key lights from red to blue to green to yellow. You could also open up Google on a browser window. If you are too lazy to play music, you could also ask your keyboard to do it. 
and maybe even change tracks. As of now, it only understands commands in Chinese. However, it is being developed for English and other languages as well. Now, who doesn't want ice cream? When you're asked a question like that, you really can't say no. Especially after you've walked thousands of steps in a huge exhibition like this. So, well, it's time for me to get an ice cream. Thank you. And you guys take a break.